during this COVID time, my wife and I have gotten into the habit of um, watching YouTube videos uh, during uh, mealtime. We fire up the uh, Apple TV in the living room and and watch two or three or four or more videos from some of our favorite photographers. So I thought in today's video I would share uh, my 11 favorite YouTube photographers um, and just a tiny bit about each and why I like them so much. Um, one of the cool things during this COVID time is, is um, there's a little, <laughs> not a little, there's a lot more time to fill with stuff and uh, lots of choices to make. So one of the things uh, we've been intentional about is seeking, uh, filling some of that time with uh, things that inspire, things that uh, entertain, and things that uh, educate. So um, all these videos do that to uh, varying degrees, uh, entertain, educate, and inspire. So uh, let's take a look at some of these photographers. Uh, you'll notice before too long uh, some of the similarities between them uh, and uh, the one part that's kind of missing. So we'll get to that in a second. Um, all these photographers, I will say, are, are landscape and travel photographers. Uh, that's more the genre of photography uh, I'm interested in on a kind of ongoing basis. So I don't have any uh, wedding or portrait or uh, those kind of photographers in this list. So here's my favorites. We'll start with number one, my favorite of all of them, and uh, his name is Sean Tucker. So one of the things I like so much about Sean Tucker is uh, he has a variety of experiences that have informed his photography. And when I watch his videos, uh, the phrase I use is it feels like I'm going to photography church uh, in that it's, it's, there's, a, there's a lesson to learn. Uh, there's, it's never about the buttons, knobs, and dials, and gear with Sean. It's all about uh, philosophy, uh, mindset, uh, practice, um, and how all the world around us can inform our photography. And I really, really appreciate that. Uh, Sean releases videos about once every two weeks, um, sometimes once a month, uh, far from frequent, but uh, his stuff is really rich and deep. Uh, next up is one of the photographers I think I've been following the longest on YouTube, and I don't even remember how I discovered discovered him, but his name is Thomas Heaton. He's in the UK. So was Sean Tucker, by the way. Uh, and um, uh, Thomas is a landscape and travel photographer, traveling not so much these days. So he's shooting lots of uh, scenes locally. He's uh, getting out a, his medium format film camera and seeking inspiration through that. But what I love about Thomas's videos, again, not so much about gear, mostly about um, just watching him do his thing in his uh, gentle and charming, charmingly English way. My wife has a big crush on Thomas. Uh, so uh, he's just a neat guy. Uh, I've gotten to know him over the past uh, two years. I've been watching him on, on YouTube and uh, I buy his calendars, bought his book. So uh, I really enjoy his photos. Uh, he's tending, it's fun to see the progression of these photographers as you watch them over time. And Thomas is going more and more to what my preferred style is, is kind of a minimalist look. So uh, it's kind of fun to, uh, to travel that journey with him. Uh, Thomas releases videos on a Sunday generally, once a week. Sometimes uh, he also releases a, a second video a week, but usually one per week. Uh, next up, we have uh, James Popsis, uh, another gentleman in the UK. He's up in Wales, down in Wales. I don't know my UK geography very well. But uh, another fun personality. Uh, he is uh, a little more about the gear sometimes, but uh, he does some really great landscape photography with a very different style. Uh, and he's got a, a lot of fun personality. Uh, <laughs> he doesn't take himself too seriously. Uh, his videos are usually worth a giggle or two. And uh, it's just fun in a little bit different style. So... Um, yeah, another uh, another gentleman from the UK with facial hair.
So we're seeing some of the commonalities coming out, although Sean didn't have any facial hair. So James, love his stuff, love his, uh, his the fun he seems to have as he's creating these photos, uh, the personality he brings into his videos, uh, and he does things just a little differently, which just kind of feeds my soul. Uh, he's, his videos come out once a week also. Uh, I think he usually comes out on Saturday. Next up, we have Adam Gibbs. He's uh, originally from the UK, but now he lives in Vancouver, British Columbia. So just a little bit north of where I am. Uh, his uh, photography company is called Quiet Light. So that gives you a sense of who he is. He's a kind of a gentle, uh, but uh, a laid back presence, but he's he's got a good sense of humor as well. Does lots of woodland photography uh, and um his videos come out about once a week as well. I think he comes out on Sunday also. Um, so uh, again, not so much about tons about gear, mostly about the process, just enjoying watching uh, as they explore, as he explores and uh, figures out the photo for the day. And then a tiny, tiny bit usually of the transformation that he makes with software in the editing. Uh, next up, Simon Baxter uh, from the UK also. You're seeing a trend here, a trend, British dudes. Um, he is another woodland photographer. Uh, he has a dog who often accompanies him, Meg. I think Meg has her own uh, Instagram account. Uh, another gentle, quiet presence. Uh, show Takes you out on a photo trip and or photo session, I guess and uh, shows you the process, shows you the behind the scenes of how he does things, and then uh, the story around what he was looking for and what he was trying to accomplish. He also has some videos about uh, process thinking uh, and um, some general tips and just kind of overall com combination of things to uh, give you just a bigger picture beyond just, here's what I, I photographed on this day. Uh, another once a weeker, uh, I think, when did his videos come out? I think they're on Sunday as well. Uh, next we have Nigel Danson. Uh, he is uh, another bearded gentleman in the UK <laughs> uh, who does a lot of woodland photography uh, while he's there. Uh, his, uh, he's traveled just a tiny bit recently, he, uh, but he mostly uh, stays pretty local right now as, as we all are. Uh, again, another uh, quiet, gentle presence. Uh, fun to watch him uh, take his um, uh, journeys locally to create photos. Uh, he talks a lot about his process, his thoughts, uh, what is the work he does, how he approaches things. And um, uh, he also has a dog, Pebbles, I believe also has her own Instagram account. Uh, but um, yeah, just another, I like to take pictures the way he does. Uh, once a week, Sundays, for his videos. Next up, Mads Peter Iverson, a bearded gentleman, but not in the UK. He's from Denmark. Uh, he's also doing a lot of local photography, as you can see in this clip. It was windy and stormy, but uh, those kind of conditions make for the most dramatic photos. Um, and he produces videos about once a week, and uh, right now, again, local, but he does a lot of travel usually. And it's, it's fun watching all these guys so far um, embrace the limit. They can't travel right now, can't do their uh, exotic locations, so they're, they're doing their local locations and finding ways to still create awesome photos. And I love that. Uh, I don't get to travel a lot, usually in any given year, even if I could. So uh, it reminds me that there's, there's lots for most of us, depending on where you live, where we can just go maybe within 20 miles and find some interesting photos. You don't have to go very far. Next up, Jamie Windsor, another bearded gentleman, also from the UK. Um, he does video, videos uh, relatively infrequently, um, maybe once a month, sometimes every two months. But his videos are very different. Uh, they're, again, a lot, they're similar to Sean in that they're uh, very much about uh, bigger picture stuff, uh, meta stuff, thinking big, um, and uh, he does. He's a video editor, very creative. So his videos have a lot of uh, creative edits, and uh, he's really good at teaching. So it's a little less about his personal photography, more about uh, again big picture. Pardon the pun. Thinking about uh, our photography and how we want to approach things, so we don't just 
look for the technique, but we think about how and why we're doing our photos. So I really like Jamie's stuff. Next up, another dude. Uh, this is Nick Page, uh, not in the UK, does have a beard. He's in Eastern Washington, so he's not very far from where I'm at. Uh, he does videos about once a week, uh, lots of landscape drama stuff on the, he's, he concentrates primarily on the Oregon uh, and uh, Washington coasts, as well as uh, uh, woodlands, uh, and as well as Eastern Washington. Um, but um, he's got, he, he's, uh, most of his photos have a lot of drama in them. He really goes for uh, those epic kinds of sunrise, sunset, uh, seascape scenes that have a lot of drama in them. Uh, this video that you're seeing right now is his most recent one where he uh, went camping overnight. Uh, and uh, it's it's no voiceover on this one. It's just uh, ambient sounds and him cooking steak and being cold and drinking a Henry's. So, uh, but it's uh, some neat photos he got out of this experience and a neat little video, a little slice of how he does things, his process as well. So... All the videos so far, all the photographers featured, the nine well, I've shown you so far, have had one thing in common, and they've all been dudes. Uh, and that's, I think, relatively common on YouTube, and it kind of bums me out. Uh, there are a lot of uh, female photographers on YouTube, uh, not so many in this genre. So the last two uh, folks I will feature here will be uh, female lady photographers, uh, the first one up here is Sarah Lindsay. Uh, she's up in, I think, Alberta. I'm relatively new in following her. Uh, so I haven't watched tons and tons of her videos. But what I have seen, I really do enjoy. Uh, and uh, she's got a neat presence, a uh, neat uh, style of photography, and some good information and inspiration. Um, if you're aware of uh, female photographers that kind of are in this uh, genre that you think I should follow or would benefit from learning and being inspired by, I'd love if you'd share that in the comments below. That'd be really, really helpful. Uh, it's good to have a variety of perspectives. I've got a lot of American dudes, a lot of, uh, I mean, a lot of British dudes. Uh, so, um, yeah, we can uh, benefit for some uh, different perspectives. If you have others uh, that you would like to uh, share with me, please add them in the comments down below. Next up on female YouTubers is Kim Grant. She's up in Scotland in the UK. Uh, she uh, posts videos about once a week and sometimes twice a week, actually. And um, again, just uh, she stays relatively local for now. Uh, and she makes some really amazing photos. She goes and finds the good time of day to create her photos. It's fun to see her her growth uh, over the past couple of years uh, as she's... Uh, worked on her craft and gotten better at it. So yeah, again, another uh, interesting perspective and personality uh, that I appreciate learning something different from. So there you have it, my 11 favorite YouTube photographers um, that I've watched for mostly, all of them for at least a couple of years. Uh, Sarah is the newest one. Uh, and again, if you have uh, photographers that you think I should add to my list, add to my curation of uh, videos to watch during uh, meal time with Debbie. Uh, I'd be glad to receive that information down below. Uh, as we are required as people creating on YouTube, uh, we ask you to subscribe and like this video. Uh, that would be a big, big help. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this. Hope maybe you've got uh, some new uh, voices and insights uh, into uh, some of the other folks out there in YouTube land. There's a ton. So, um, yeah, I'm going to do another video about this similar. I'm going to do my 11 favorite YouTube nerds, I'll call it. Uh, a lot of them are still photographers, but they're less uh, about the image and more a little bit about the gear. So uh, we'll get to that in next week's video. So until I see you again, have fun creating photos. Be safe out there. Remember to wash your hands, still wear a mask. You might even need two of them now, but be safe and stay well. Bye.